Hi, I'm Edward Grennan, Editor-in-Chief of Guideposts, with the True Mysterious Ways from Ralph Acker of Chiloe, Virginia. We've all had them, those inexplicable experiences that are more than just luck, more than mere coincidence. Here at Guideposts, we call them Mysterious Ways. Ralph's grandson pulled a set of golf clubs out of the closet. Come on, Grandpa, come play golf with Mom and me, he pleaded. Ralph had driven from Virginia to Missouri to spend time with his daughter and grandson, but golfing was the last thing he wanted to do. He shook his head. His daughter put her hand on his shoulder. What's wrong, Dad? she asked. You love golf. Ralph did love golf. For as long as he could remember, his lifelong friend Harold had been his golfing partner in Virginia. They were perfect together. Ralph would hit a shot into the rough. Harold would counter it with one that landed in the center of the fairway. It went on like that for years, Harold's shots always landing just a bit closer to the hole than Ralph's. They grew up together. Harold knew Ralph better than almost anyone. But not long ago, Harold had died of cancer. Ralph missed him terribly. Golf would never be the same. It took a bit of pleading from his grandson and daughter, but Ralph finally gave in. Okay, Ralph said maybe just one round. Ralph felt a bit rusty as he stepped up to the tee at the Murder Rock Golf Course in Branson, Missouri. He pulled out the driver and took a swing. The ball arched high into the air and plunked down in the tall crabgrass, ten feet off the fairway. Ralph, you're not supposed to hit the ball in the rough. He could practically hear Harold playfully chiding him. Grumbling to himself, Ralph went to retrieve the ball. He bent over to examine the lie. Out of the corner of his eye, he saw another ball lying just a few feet away, almost on the fairway. He looked around. His daughter and grandson hadn't teed off yet. No one else was playing through. Who abandons a perfectly good golf ball with a good lie, Ralph wondered. He walked over, leaned down, and picked it up. That's when he saw the monogram stamped on the ball, H-D-R, the initials of his dear friend, Harold Dean Rowland, still Ralph's golfing partner, and always will be. Mm -hmm.